cause, you know, because I, my mission has been to help Trinidad grow healthy kids. And it always starts with a story, and it I want took to me. I want to hear the story. I think Trinidad needs to hear the story. <laughs> it took me to to have this story in order to come out. You know, everything happens for a reason. Absolutely. And um, well, my son was born with a liver illness, and um, just basically going, spending, you know, those those years in and out of the hospital. You know, I always had this strong gut instinct that food has to help them after all the liver is the only organ that processes the food right and when I would ask you know the nurses the doctors the experts they really didn't think food mattered it was more and more medication we were getting to help him um, which we didn't really see any That's improvements. That's a real modern day thing, eh? Like yes, just pump with medication, exactly. pump with medication. Like yes. just killing our children faster than really helping. Yeah, and you know, I started doing some research and when I changed his diet to, uh, to gluten-free, I mean, at that point of time, we had nothing. I never even heard the word gluten-free. Right. We had nothing gluten-free in Trinidad. I'm like, what is that, you know? And I basically had to educate myself, you know, um, I enrolled in a program to become a health coach, never heard of that career. I just know I was learning over a hundred different types of diet. And when I learned of about food and what we should be eating for our bodies, it, it just shocked me like, oh my God, what are we feeding our kids? And when I started Scary. to make the changes, not only with my son, but with myself as well and my family, you just saw the difference on how you feel and how you think and how you act and just just everything. Food is everything. It is. So I, um, I, I then, after I, I ended up helping my son, I mean, he did a whole 360 just through diet, you know. Uh, well, I'm going to interrupt you for a minute and tell a story. As you say, food is everything mm -hmm. because well, I used to play national hockey and I remember sitting down and they're having this big Commonwealth meeting with all the Commonwealth athletes and they banned us from everything including vitamin C and we're all sitting down there like how are we supposed to, to, to produce results with no vitamins with no protein shakes you know how are we supposed to do that and the doctor said food he said there's everything you need in food you eat the right food and you will get the right vitamins. And so they put a complete ban. They said Trinidad athletes will not be allowed to use anything because you don't know what manufacturing line it passed through and you're gonna end up getting drug tested positive and you have no idea from what. And so they put us on a complete ban and they said food. That's where you're gonna get it, food. Yes, yeah, exactly. So food really plays an important um, rule in our lives. We need to, in order to live, we need to eat, right? right? And we eat three, four, five, six times a day, but what are we really eating? And why I'm so passionate about this, because the studies are showing that today kids are only being brought on, up on processed foods. And if this continues, the parents are going to outlive their kids. Right. Already, diabetes in children is, the numbers are just way too high. What about obesity? We are I think number six now or something like that in the world yeah um, so change needs to happen and what I focus on is making small changes and educating